y'all welcome back to my channel so this video finally is gonna be on my way of doing my faux locks these are my version of the bohemian locks as you can see I don't like put the curly hair throughout my whole head because this hair gets nappy really fast especially no eh, no here we go especially this one this is the deep twist and that are like right here and this is the deep twist and y'all this shit is like rat hair so i started using the deep twist and it gets nappy but not as i've been quick. doing my hair since last thursday it don't take me that long normally but since i go to school all day and then i get home and i try to be with my son i don't finish my hair so that's why it took me almost well it did take me a week almost two weeks to do my hair but it's nothing with me it's fine it's okay it's my head so yeah these are my locks y'all i love them so much and i do plan on keeping these oh lord this one fall, trying to fall out i do ow my front i just did these in the front so they tight but i do plan on keeping these in my head for a little while but this is oh this is my version of the um faux locks i've been doing faux locks almost a year now so i've mastered how to do them so when you first start off don't think like oh these are ugly they might be nappy and you might twist them wrong and they unravel it's cool i was i did i think probably two and a half heads before I it takes a minute to get used to doing them when i first started doing hair i was on people's head for like six hours doing these now i can bust these holes out in about four and a half hours if you want a real long five and a half hours so yeah so the products you will need is some edge control i use murray's edge wax this stuff is the most equal cuban twist double strand 16 inch hair and i use the color one and i normally use 24 inch if i do my hair really long but I decided to do them with a, I put the curly in so the curls add length to some rubbing or some little clippies to hold your I hair. I used pre-stretched hair. I personally like pre-stretched hair because the way I wanted my faux locks, I wanted them to get skinny and then I wanted them to be able, you know, to bend up like this. Like, you can grab each one of them and bend it like that and it won't, you know, be you that realistic look. And at the back of my hair, I used just a full piece of lock I mean of Cuban twist I used two pieces and at the top I started splitting them to get them skinny you guys you know enjoy this video because I'm trying to get more in the hair because that's like my first love hair and nails so yeah but I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you give me a thumbs up make sure you comment and subscribe and give me some more video ideas so to do these locks these are my locks they are the goddess lock. I did mine different where I didn't put like all the curly hair like throughout because I don't like that look. So I have two right here and two right here. Okay, so the products I use in my hair are you need a crochet hook, you need some black rubber bands, some hair clips. This is water wave hair. You're gonna need some curly hair, but as you can see throughout my head, I used um deep twist cuban twist double strand style 16 inch hair and i use the number one murray's edge wax for my hair okay so i've done all of my hair of course the back is not done because you know i don't have anything back here to grip but that's fine with me now another thing i gotta fix this finish this one too but another thing is i don't like the deep twist hair it's all natted and rat it looks like rat hair i hate that like pull it apart Cause that keeps it from being nappy. Okay, here go one piece. I'm just gonna push it to the side so it don't get in everything. Two piece, and you can use a whole bag of this for your whole head. But I decided to do different textures because I didn't like the other hair. Three and four. Okay, I don't do any like certain parts. As you can see, I just take my hair and I just split the hair like this, and that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna take a little clip like this, push this backwards, and clamp it to another lock. And I'm gonna take my Murray's edge wave, put it on the roots of your hair, like so. And the extra I have, I'm just gonna slick it on that hair back there. And I just do it like this. So we're gonna take 
I take two rubber bands. You do not have to take two rubber bands if you feel like there's too much strain on you. I'm going to use pre-stretched hair. And the reason I'm using pre-stretched hair is because, as you can see, like my locks, as they, hold on, let's see. As they start getting close to the end, they start getting skinny. And that's how I like mine. When I first started doing my locks, I was using just regular box braid right hair. And I was stretching it, but it wasn't doing what I wanted it to do. So I started using the pre-stretched hair. And this hair, I don't know what brand it's by, but it's $2.99 a pack. And I think I used probably, I say four packs of hair. Because I'm doing them kind of skinny. So, so it, I got that right there. And I'm taking. With the deep, I mean, whatever this is, I don't know. I do it like this. So I'm gonna take my crochet hook and I'm just gonna crochet it in like I would do any other hair. So lay it down, crochet like that. Like that. Take this piece of Cuban twist. Put at the tip. Like so. And I wrap it around the root a couple times because you don't want the braid short. You wrap it and tug. Wrap, tug, wrap. So that piece didn't take me all the way down. So I'm gonna take another lock and I'm gonna split it in half. That's how you save hair. Split it in half. Overlay it and get back to wrapping. Okay, so now when you get to the end of the, the lock, you're gonna have curly hair and possibly a strand, but I'm gonna show you what to do next. But I'm wrapping back up like this. Use Eden's one drop. I guess 30 second glue. Yeah, 30 seconds. And that's it. So I'm gonna do this next one on camera of curly hair, like so. Take your crochet hook through. There we go. Through that. Take the curly hair. I'm gonna have to turn the hook a little bit with this and hook it on. Now, some people they braid the curly hair at the bottom. I used to when I was doing clients, but I did half of that hair I had ripped. Back at the root.
I'm done now. So the ones we just did, Look the these. extra hair hanging. So like right here, this one got some extra kinky hair. So all you gonna do is split it and snip. And then you got that lip. And that is my faux locks. Oh, let me show you length so y'all can see how long they are on me. So they fall like right here on my roll. And I'm like 5'5 five five or 5'4 five ish. I don't know. But these are my locks. If you guys enjoyed this video make sure you like comment and subscribe 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 and i'll see y'all back in my next one bye